with this first section is uh, put us under perspective of our, of our situation, of mankind's situation. Um, Genesis 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I'll start with that. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Everything that can be seen and not seen, God created all of it. Um, Pastor John, Genesis chapter 2. The Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. A man became a living being. Very good. Thank you. Man became a living being from what? Dust in the ground. Thank you. Uh, Psalm 139, Mom, please. 1 to 18, right? Yes. O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. Lord, you go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such, such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. And if I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the furthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I can ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even the dar in darkness I cannot hide from you. To you the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship, workmanship is marvelous, how well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in other seclusion, and I, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. How precious are your thoughts about me, O God. You cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when I wake up, you are still with me. Thank you, Mom. Ernest, Psalm 103. Third, Psalm 103, 13 to 18. Yes, sir. Like as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knoweth our frame. He remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are as grass as a flower of the field, so he uh, flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them through him, and his righteousness unto children's children, such to such as keep his covenant to those that remember his commandments to do them. Amen. Rose, John 15. <clears throat> John 15, 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Thank you. So in light of these set of uh, passages, I'm just going to ask this question to everyone here. <laughs> Who who is man to God? How how can anyone want to discuss uh, the topic we just read about? Who is man to God? Is the question? Yeah yeah. That would be us, his children, correct? Yeah, I, I'm not looking for any... Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, we're his right. children. I, I'm not looking for anything special. I mean, this isn't a special quiz time. Right. These scriptures, I'll just share this. These scriptures blow me away. 
when I consider God, the creator of all things, decided to initiate creation to begin with. He made us from dust. I take that literally, that he took dust and, on that day six and, 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 and created a being right there, breathing life into our nostrils. And then that's how I am with that. That's how I, say, I, I take what I read and I just envision that. And then, and then to read Psalm 139 about how intimate he is with us, that he has all this knowledge of us and he's still with us? I mean, who are we to him that he might, he might care for us like this? So all I'm saying is, is uh, these scriptures, as far as I'm concerned, give us a proper perspective of who we are, who God is, and how much he really cares for us. And, I mean, these are all, all throughout the Bible. We could use tons of passages that relate to this. But these are, these are my favorite ones. Any comments on everything we've read? Well, you know, I see that as, as we are his children. And, you know, just like our, just like our own children, we want them to uh, succeed in when we when they uh we want to help them along the way for to 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 better them to make them a better person to make them a godly person so that they will uh go into the world and contribute uh the things of god the way the way god meant it to be you know being that christ is we we know christ we we wouldn't know when christ walked the earth but we we read about him every day in the, in his work so we we have an understanding uh, uh, how to conduct ourselves because he gives us those he gives he gives us those those guidelines in the in the Bible. So now it's up to us to pass them on. And who better to start with is in your own household, you know. And I and I, I I've read so many times where God has been so frustrated with us because we uh, we murmur and we and we uh, uh, we backbite and we just don't want to behave. We don't want to be obedient. You know, and he gets so frustrated with us. Well, he, I, I remember him saying one time, you know, go, you, you got these other guys, these idols, idols, go and ask them to fix your issues, you know. But then he turns right around and shows us mercy and grace and favor and, and puts us back on our feet again, you know, like he, like he, we, you know, like we would wipe out the kid's knee that, that falls and skint his knee. And we want to make it better for him so he could start all over and try to, you know, try to again to get it right. And God, he just keeps on coming back until we, until we, you know, begin to get it right. Amen. Thank you, Ernest. I love that. That was awesome. Anyone else want to comment on, on, on things we've read? I think uh, the scriptures we read show us how important we are to God and how much he loves us. And and it's everyone's equal. None of us are better than the other. And, and um, you know, he just really wants us to uh, to be his child. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Any other comments? I guess when I when I started this, uh, you know, coming up with this this idea of putting God first, it's kind of like um, I, I wanted to attack straight at it and say, why why would we want to put God first to begin with? I mean, gosh, we uh, we we have um, pursuits in, in business. And, you know, we have our families to spend time with. And, uh, where, where, how, why would I consider putting God first anyway? I mean, you know, I got all these things to do and, um, concerns about this and with that. And, and gosh, I got bills to pay. My goodness. And, 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 well, John, my neighbor wants me to do this and, and do that. And I got people tugging on me from, from all directions. Um, who is God to me that I should put him first? 
And, um, you know, I think we have enough of maturity on this phone call to understand uh, this to begin with. Uh, but for those that, that might listen to this, I'm hoping that these scriptures put their lives into perspective. In other words, we are absolutely nothing without God. And, 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 and to me, to live this life without acknowledging him is to miss the whole boat, is to uh, live a mindless, careless life um, without, without seeking the one who created us. We would not be here without him. We don't have life without him. And that's physically and spiritually. He gives us physical life. That's a gift. And we don't even know it. We live through life for so long without even considering, oh, why am I alive to begin with? Where am I going to get my next breath from? much less my next glass of water, much less my next bite of food. These things that we just just naturally take for granted. So I just kind of love to consider these scriptures to understand just how small we are. Not only how small we are, because we're all dust. I love what mom had to say, that we're all equal. We all started with this. There's not one of us that can say, oh, I got an edge on you because of my because of my heritage, or I got an edge on you because of what I've learned in school, or I got an edge on you because, because uh, I'm popular. You no, know, we're all on the same, same plateau, so to speak. We're all children of God, and we all need God just as much as everyone else. We all need each other just as much as everyone else does. So um, these scriptures, for me, help you know, really put things in a proper perspective. Um, David understands this very well, that we are only dust. And I love how Jesus puts it, the, the verse that I really argued with for much of my life. For apart from me, you can do nothing. I had a hard time with that scripture. So um, when, when he humbles us, when we, when we open our heart to him, when, when, when he opens our heart, let's say, and, and, and we, we, we follow him enough, he, he leads us in a way that, that, that really helps us to become humble. He does that, um, and I, I hope you all can relate to that. So, so then we come to a point where, God, I need you. So, so it's like the more we serve God, the more we realize just how much we need him because he has a way of humbling us every step of the way because we have our natural uh, inclination to, to, to go our own way. We have our own natural con- con- inclination to not seek God. So, um, but when he's really uh, uh, given us a, a heart for him, we, we realize how much we need to rely on him. And so, um, you know, you guys said some wonderful things to, to kick us off. Um, in, in other words, uh, everything we do, every decision we make, we want to please God. And we put one of have them on the forefront of our mind um, for everything we do throughout our days. And so I, I just wanted to share something. Um, and this is just a testimony in my life. Um, I remember before I started seriously reading and seeking God, I remember a certain day that I started off in prayer. And I started that day well in prayer. And, um, and, and, and I, I remember at the end of that day, I had this realization that I didn't even think about God since I prayed in the morning. So I went the whole day not even thinking about God, and I got angry. <laughs> I got really <laughs> mad. I was like, Lord, how can I, how can I start off like that in prayer and not even think about you all day? And I'm telling you, uh, it's just one of those little memories. There's just one day that I remember, for example, and I'm telling you, to get to that point um, where we're consciously um, mindful of God, you know, throughout our day, it doesn't happen overnight. And I want people to understand it's not something we can make happen to be conscious of him. Um, it's not a natural thing to do. It, it is, it is it, you know, it's nothing anyone can take credit for. You know, I, I, I couldn't tell you and say, oh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I serve God in everything I do. I pray about him in everything I do. And you know, I can say that, and in 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 all I'm saying is I can't boast about that. 
Right. It's something that God has led me, was very patient with me, and it's, it's something I desired back in 2006. I desired that in early 2007, but my, my actions were far from it. And so um, for God to do what he did back then to what I do today, um, he, he's trained me well because I, 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 I've sought him. All I can take credit for is uh, I, I, I've seriously sought the Lord, and he led me to this relationship that I, I can't take any credit for. And it's just been such a blessing to me to know the Lord in such a way, in, in such a personal way, that um, it's beautiful. Amen. I don't know how else to say it, 